Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. I'm going to present here proofs for two important results concerning the derivatives of a function of n independent variables and that we use in statistics. First result, we have a linear combination of x's, which are the variables. I'm going to show that, I'll show this result. Second thing, result, I want to sh show that a matrix times a vector of random variables, or variables, let's just say, not say random, derivative of this thing with respect to x transpose is equal to a, note transpose. One error in stats where we use this is to compute uh, score and the information matrix when we're dealing with maximum likelihood. All right, proof for the first one. So we're looking at this linear combination of x, writing it down full, 1 by n, vector times a n by 1, row vector, multiplying out, that times that plus this times that, and so on. This one, and then I do it the other way around, because that's part of the proof. I want to show you the derivative of these two things with respect to x are the same thing. So I do x transpose a, convince yourself that, these two are the same. Next we need to compute partial derivatives of that function, say x transpose a, with respect to each i. Okay, and also we need to do the same but the other way around to convince ourselves of the same thing. Now it's quite simple to see that the derivative of say a x with respect to x i is equal to a i for any i, so for every i equal 1 to n, it's all the same pattern. So, um, we can see that it's going to be the same respective if I do a transpose x or x transpose a. So the derivative of them will be this for each xi and we can stack them say in a column vector that's important um, it doesn't have to be a column but whatever way notation we use we should be consistent so now I'm going to treat I'm going to stack everything in terms of a column vector finish Moving on, the proof that of the um, matrix times the vector. Writing out in full to help us try to understand what's going on here. Then we can multiply these things out. Okay, multiply out, we get this thing. Each row, let's just shorten this thing. Let's call it top row F1, F2. You can see that each row is a function of the n independent variables x. Okay, now I want df by dx. From above we already had the result for each one of these guys, okay, which resulted in a using a um, uh, using the end result we decided to stack everything in terms of a column and I said at that time it didn't matter whether it's row or column so long as we're consistent. So that's why I'm saying here we've got to be consistent. So if I use this notation, it'll be derivative of this f1 respect to x1, df1, dx2, blah blah blah, and then moving on to f2. And so we're interested in the transpose of that. So in this case, it'll be the transpose of what I've just written down. So it'll be df1 by dx1, df1 by dx2, blah 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 df1 by dxn for the first one, next uh, for 2 and so on so you can see what's going to happen, dfn, let's do the f dx, dx, alright, like so, that's dx1 by the way, alright, and then you can see that this here thing, df1, just take, that is f1, 
derivative with respect to each of x1 to xn, I think you can see plainly that it's going to be a11 first one, df1 by dx1, df1 by dx2 is going to be a12, blah blah blah, d1n, and you can see that the thing is going to be like this. In other words, it is the matrix A. Okay. If we wanted df by dx, that would have given us A transpose, from which we can see using the notation is that df by dx is equal to the transpose of this guy. All right, so an application of where we use something like this is to calculate the information matrix in maximum likelihood. Okay, that's where I encountered it this week with my students. All right, fantastic. Finished.